uh, thanks again for joining uh, in this part I'm going to show you how to add custom portal login screen uh, to your iOS app I happen to have a community called uh, conference in my arg whose uh, landing page URL is this so if I open it up it shows a login page that our community users would see now as you can see a community user can log in using their username and password or using Facebook and you can also notice that there is some customizations like this logo and there is a uh, you know copyright saying conference app etc so now let's see how to add this custom landing page in our mobile SDK and if you run our app by default our mobile SDK shows this landing page and changing it to point to a custom portal login page is uh, rather simple uh, first we need to do is to uh, search for our info.plist page so it use, it's usually like your application name dash info.plist over here add a new row and, and add a name called sfdc auth login host and value has to be our custom login pages uh, host name which happens to be this and that's pretty much it and before we can test this and because this happens to be part of the settings we need to first delete the app in our simulator and then rerun it so let's do that okay so now the app is deleted let's run it log into Salesforce and boom you can see that it is actually now displaying our conference app including the Facebook login button so if you log in uh, it's asking us if you trust our community app you can also see that it's showing us the custom logo and stuff I'm gonna go ahead and uh, allow it so now we are logged in so let's log out and then do the Facebook login let's see how that works so I'm clicking on and saying I'm gonna log into Facebook okay let me log in now this is just a Facebook security feature I'm going to continue now here it's asking me if I trust the Salesforce app so this is one of the configurations I have done to my uh, community app I'm gonna say go ahead and now you can see after we authenticated from Facebook community app is also asking a second what so now I said yes and now it logged me in and at this point the community user is fully authenticated and your app can now interact with uh, Salesforce on behalf of the community user and that's about it thanks for watching